Ah, hello, Construction Mitty. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Can you tell me more of your heroic tales with fiery flip? Well, I, I suppose I have just a bit of time for one story. Okay, what is it? Well, it started back in January this year when all the bushfires were spreading across Australia. A big tree fell and blocked our way. Really? Was anyone hurt? No, no one was hurt, thank goodness. Ah, Belle, I need your help. What is it, Flynn? There's a fire just a few blocks away. A fire? Are you crazy? Oh, sorry, Brick Billy. I really have to go and put out that fire with Flynn. Come on, Belle, there's no time to lose. Okay, Flynn, I'm coming. We'll continue the story later. someone else to tell me about bell stories maybe the other bells who live in this house so camouflage bell want to make help with me no thank you graffiti paxton i prefer to be on my own thank you ah camouflage bell construction mini what is it can you tell me a story of how bell and Flynn were fighting the bushfires I haven't got time for stories, Millie. Huh. Will you please go somewhere else? Or find some other bells to talk to? I am not in the mood to talk about stories. Oh, but please, just one. No, get lost. <gasps> Look what you've done, Tipperflash Bell. You've made Millie upset. It's not my fault. I just want to be alone. Get lost! Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Oh. What is wrong with her? Bookcase Toby, have you got a cookbook for me so I can make some recipes? Um, um, okay, Queen Bill, but what do you want to make? I would like to make some garden salad for my husband. Um, okay. Ah, Queen Belle! Huh? Construction Millie, what are you doing? Um, do you have a storybook so you can read me a story about how Belle and Fair were putting out bushfires? Huh, I'm not in a mood to read stories, Millie. I need a cookbook so I can make some salad for my husband, King James. But I really want to hear a story. Oh, Barnacles. Um, bookcase Toby, I need you for a minute. Uh, uh okay, Brady Smith, what is it? I need my science book. Uh, uh, okay, um, just wait a moment, Bill. Uh, how long will this take? No one likes me. There has to be some other bells like Rainbow Bell and Mermaid Bell. That's it. I'll find those two bells. And if I see one of them, they could read me a story. And then I saw some flowers sitting on the shelves. Really? Flowers in the shelves? Wow, what were they? They were very, very colourful. I love the colourful designs, like on my paintwork. Wow, I wish I was as colourful as you were, Rainbow Bell. Ah, need more bell! Uh, Construction Millie, what do you want? Can you tell me a story of how Belle and Fred were putting out bushfires? I'm not in the mood to talk about your story right now. I'm having a private conversation with... Did you just burp? Uh, sorry. Um, uh, I had a conversation with East Dribbly about how nice flowers are. Oh, can you at least tell me one story? No, thank you. I'm happy to talk with Easter Emily. Yeah, why don't you find someone else to tell you a story about Belle? Oh, I want to hear a story of the bushfires. So, um, Mermaid Belle, how did you survive yourself? Yeah, how long can you breathe underwater for? Okay, one at a time, please, you two. 
As I was saying, being underwater is very tricky, if you ask me. Yeah, what was it like? Oh, it was like, oh, I can't explain. There were lots of bubbles and lots of fish swimming around me. Ah, oh, Mermaid Belle! Oh, Construction Millie! Do you want to hear us my story? Of what? Of how I lived underwater for a long time? I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in bushfire stories. Bushfire stories? Huh. Well, why didn't you ask Belle and Flynn? But they were already went to put out a fire. Why don't you wait for them to come back? Yeah, wait for them to come back, Millie. Oh, I wish they could tell me a story. I wish someone could tell me a story of how the bushfires were put out. I never got to listen to them earlier this year. What's wrong with Construction Millie? I think she missed out on all the stories we heard about the bushfires Bell and Flint put out. Oh, that's a shame. No one likes me. No one likes me buzzing around just because I want to hear a story of how Al Bell Flynn pushed out the bushfires. Boy, that was a big fire. It sure was, Flynn. At least everyone is safe and sound. Hello, Construction Millie. What's the matter? No one wants to talk to me. Why? I keep asking them that I want to hear a story about how you put out the bushfires of Flynn. Well, it's okay, Millie. I can tell you one now. Really? Yes, I can tell you a story about how I and Flynn put out all the bushfires that were spreading. That would be great. Thank you, Belle. You're welcome, Millie. Would you like to hear a, a story? Yes, please. Oh, this should be fun. Well, it all started in January when, 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 when me and Belle were leaving the house, the sky was red and we heard that there were bushfires spreading. We raced to the rescue. Wow, what happened next? And then all the animals were in danger and then we were putting out so many bushfires and the, oh, a lot of trees were falling. It was the biggest fire we've ever put.